Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. This set of questions is all about masturbation. We are going to start with female anatomy. Question number one. Is masturbation okay for a girl? Yes, yes, of course it's okay. It is super healthy, super common. It doesn't mean that you have to, but if you are interested, by all means, try it out. The clitoris is going to be the main source of pleasure, which I've done videos showing uh, where the clitoris is, but it's going to be toward the front of your genital region, and it's going to be the area of the most intense sensitivity on the surface down there. So clitoris is the primary source. However, many also feel pleasure with vaginal stimulation as well. And that usually requires a finger, clean finger, or a toy. And you can potentially try that and see if you can achieve orgasm that way as well. But masturbation is totally healthy for a female. Try it out and get to know and love your body. Question number two. I'm having trouble masturbating and I really don't know what to do. Any tips on female masturbation? Okay, so like I just said, the main two points of masturbation or sexual pleasure for a female or female anatomy is going to be the clitoris followed by the vagina. So the clitoris, and I'll show you on, on here. I'll show you on here. This is not my best work, but these are your inner labia or the labia minora. Up here is going to be what we call the mons pubis or the fat pad at the front of the pubic bone, and that's where pubic hair is. But then right below it, so underneath the labia that cover the outside are going to be the labia minora, the inner labia, and where those two labia meet at the front is going to be the clitoris. So that's going to be the number one site of sexual stimulation. Number two, the vagina. So this is the pee hole. Here's the vagina. Now usually when people find sexual pleasure from the vagina, the point of the most sexual pleasure is going to be toward the front of the vagina. So inserting a finger toward the front of your body is going to potentially find the site where you have the most sexual pleasure within your vagina. So try it out. Okay, a couple other things that might be helpful. Um, I mentioned fingers and that's a great easy way to try masturbation but using a toy or a vibrator so vibrators especially when used on the clitoris are going to provide a lot of sexual pleasure for a lot of people so those are a couple of options but those are great ways to get to know your body and explore question number three I used to masturbate by inserting my finger into the vagina but I immediately stopped when I saw blood all over my finger I tried months later, but as I climaxed, I bled again. Please help. I'm scared. Okay, so there could be a couple of things going on here. First, if your fingers weren't well groomed or if you had a hangnail or something that cut the inside of your vagina, that could certainly lead to some bleeding. That's going to be the most obvious, and you would probably know if that happened. So the second thing it could be is you're close to your period. And when you orgasm, you have vaginal and uterine contractions. And those uterine contractions could potentially be flushing out some extra blood from your period. Um, now, it can happen that some gals do bleed a little bit with orgasm. And there's nothing wrong with them. It just happens. But the only way to know for sure that nothing is wrong is by going to see a doctor. So I would say if you're sure that it's not 
like a fingernail cutting the inside of your vagina, or if you're not close to your period, then it's worth talking to a doctor. So there are some things in particular, maybe a little cervical irritation, like from a sexually transmitted infection, touching that can cause some bleeding. Other conditions like endometriosis or having some abnormal uterine tissue within the uterus can also cause some abnormal bleeding or other growths on the cervix that could potentially be contributing to bleeding during masturbation and orgasm. So I would, and I know a lot of people aren't gonna be comfortable with this, I would recommend seeing a doctor just to make sure everything looks okay down there. And a lot of times everything is gonna look perfectly fine and you might just bleed a little bit with orgasm and that's okay, but we never know until we get it checked out. And if there is something funky that we can treat, wouldn't that be great? So I would get it checked out. Question number four, what does it mean if it doesn't feel good to masturbate? Okay, so this is actually, this could potentially be a very complex question. Depends on how you're masturbating. If you're inserting a finger into the vagina and it's too tight, um, or if you're not using enough lubrication, that could cause uncomfortable masturbation or insertion of fingers in the uh, vagina. If you are even stimulating the clitoris and not using enough lubrication, or if you are pulling the clitoral hood back or being too rough with the clitoris, that can cause a lot of extra sensation that can also be uncomfortable. So if masturbation doesn't feel good, try lubing up and being a little bit more gentle and feeling different areas of the vagina in the vulva to provide pleasure. Now, if you're talking about orgasms being painful, that would be a condition where it would be worth seeing a doctor. So when a female orgasms, the muscles in the vagina, as well as muscles in the uterus, can contract and squeeze. And that can be a little bit uncomfortable if there are any abnormal things in the uterus. Um, so I would see a doctor, just make sure everything looks okay. Um, on the flip side, it has been shown that masturbation and orgasm can provide some relief with menstrual cramps. So. Just a little positive tidbit for you. Question number five. I'm 16 and whenever I masturbate, I get very overwhelmed with pleasure and I stop even before I orgasm. Is something wrong with me? So this, it's, it's tough for me to say exactly what's going on, but many people experience masturbation guilt and that's gonna be a combination of influences from society, from your family, from religion, that may be playing into your thoughts on self-pleasure. So, and, and this can be difficult from person to person, but there isn't necessarily anything physically that's going to be causing these emotions. It's generally going to be something more mental or ingrained in your thought process. And so here's what I can tell you as a doctor. We know that masturbation, male, female, non-binary, is totally normal, totally healthy. We also know that it can provide many health benefits. Like I just said, it can relieve some menstrual cramps. It can help people relax or reduce anxiety. It can help people sleep. Um, it is a wonderful form of self-love that is medically totally healthy. From a religion standpoint, I have not studied the Bible, but I have done a lot of reading into what the root cause of some religions having concern with masturbation is. And the cause seems to be that nowhere in the Bible does it actually say that masturbation is a sin. What it does say is that having impure or improper thoughts, like 
bestiality or you know affairs with your neighbor's wife um, those thoughts are improper and should not be masturbated to but self-pleasure itself is not listed as a sin so if that's maybe the cause of your discomfort think a little bit more about it in fact I would recommend if this is you if anybody is feeling guilt when they masturbate think a little bit more about why you might have these feelings and explore them a little bit more um, but there's nothing wrong with you a lot of people do feel guilt and inability to orgasm when they feel that guilt so I'm telling you it's healthy so that wraps up masturbation for female anatomy for now and remember if you have a question for ask dr. T you can either respond in this video or submit through my website askdrt.net